Well, thank you for joining me back in the shop again. Um, hope to give you a uh, very inaccurate, uh, scented, horrible review of a product that, um, oh, shit, I know nothing about. Um, the reason why I got this, long and short of it, right now the wife, me and the wife and kid are living in a travel trailer while we build our house, and uh, um, the 50-gallon drum that we shit into that our septic tank drain the septic holding tank in the trailer drains to um that I designed to be a septic kind of a half ass septic tank is just stopped working especially in this wet weather so in about 35 feet away there's a perfectly good septic uh, tank just sitting there doing absolutely nothing so um I bit the bullet I spent a 114 uh, American pesos no it's and good old American pesos, none of those uh, fancy Canadian Copecs like uh, that gentleman at AVE has up in the great frozen north. Anywho, um, yeah, that's why I bought it. So, first things first. Cheers. I hope everybody's having a great day. Because... So, good old-fashioned instructions. Turn, turn the El Pupe to the pump, or the pump to the El Store for the. It is filled with El Pupe. And there's a look in the box. Good old Chinese cast iron. Oh, fuck me. Don't worry, that was just a chainsaw falling down. And don't be scared, it was just a wild thing, so it's, it's designed for abuse. Oh. I thought the motor housing was going to be a little bit bigger than it was. Or it is. And let's check out. The cord rating. Oh, so we got some, got some good shit here. We got some well, 16 gauge uh, SJOW wire, uh, 90C rated dry, 60C rated water. Jinzing, Jongzing, Jinzong. I'm sorry, uh, I'm from America. I went to a California public school, so. <clears throat> for, uh, my apologies. Um, that was just for the float switch. This is the main power cord. So, we got 105 C degree wire, 18 gauge, CSA uh, rated, SJATW. Uh, it's okay, 300 volt, it's alright, I mean, it's cheaper shit than this stuff. This shit. And the reason I bet they went to this wire is because uh, places where it gets cold... This shit gets hard as a rocket, you know, at, when it gets down in the 20s. And have that on a float switch that needs to, uh, you know, suck the poop out. Anyway, so. Ugh. Officially, you'll fuck up your seals if you run it for more than 10 seconds. Um, what I'm thinking is going to happen. What I'm gonna find in here is I'm gonna find the same damn thing that um, um, ABE found on his pump that he took apart that little red monster, which was uh, had a uh, mild steel shaft on it, it wasn't stainless steel, and that's the point of failure for these pumps. I mean, this is a freaking it's built like a brick shit house. Like, 
Nice opening for the poopy to go into. Still won't suck up any Tampax, so. Or it won't, you know, push any Tampax, so. But, uh, here, let me pause the camera and start pop this top off. So check this out. They put a fucking plug in there to keep the waterproofing. Um, I mean, I don't know how good a water ceiling is going to be around here. So I might put some uh, little R RTV right around here to uh, help it seal better and make sure it's going to be a nice waterproof tight seal for the life of the pump. And I'm hoping to get more than $114 worth of service out of this damn pump. So I got the the electrical end of it, of it the, the, the electrical end off of it, and it is soaked to the bone with this weird ass oil. I mean, I'm probably getting cancer just touching my fingers on it. Um, you could smell the the organic the vol volatile organic compounds um, when you're just sniffing it. I mean, it has a has a has that fresh plasticky smell, but it also smells a lot like you know like uh, some type of mineral oil. Yeah, whatever. I'm one thing I'm not impressed is that just looking at it right now is that they only use put have. Oh fuck me! The whole motor is submerged in fucking oil. I'll be a son of a bitch. That explains a lot. Well, I guess I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to dump this shit out. But, um... Yeah, it's, uh... There's only three bolts on the flange. Which, um... They could have just spent the extra time. I mean, spent the extra couple cents and drilled and tapped them. I might go ahead and do that, too. And drill and tap and put... Three more quarter twenties on it, just to make it a little more beefcake on it. Uh, I think you know I have an idea. I think I'm gonna take this and close this up, and so I can take it and flip it over, and um, hopefully that'll keep the oil in and all the magic in, so I don't have to do any bullshit draining. Why is it that you can never find a 7 fucking 16 when you need one? Is that really? Fucking totally exciting, huh? Oh. Now look at that. It's all fucking drilled and bolt tap for some bolts. <sighs> what a horror.
trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna get this off without destroying this this brand new pump to shit. So dig a little further into it. Um, has a 6200 uh, Z bearing, Z. Um, I think was that just a roller skate bearing? I think. Anywho, I think I'm gonna have to get a pair of vice grips on the shaft to get the impeller off. So this is gonna get ugly. So I think we're gonna be dealing with the same thing that. Uh, ABE deal dealt with was it has a mild steel shaft on it and one thing you notice how it has a uh, slot right there but that guy is um, bubble over it so if you had to replace this impeller what I would do is just drill like cut the top off this and um, uh, just use a flatbed screwdriver in the end of that and just grab this with a rag and zip it off so we got the armature out nothing exciting to write home about this thing looks like it got its ass kicked uh, get thrown in the bin and everything same um, 6200Z bearing on the other side I don't know why they put shielded bearings in here this motor's full of uh Friggin' uh, it's full of oil. Um, but yeah, mild steel shaft. And um, the has two uh, single lip seals on it. Kind of depressing, isn't it? Uh, in my point of view. For uh, that, it's like, and on unfortunately, I don't have a. Uh, lathe where I could cut and put a freaking stainless steel sleeve over this and if I did, fucking I would I never have to buy another one of these pumps ever 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 again but uh, oh well I, the only idea I have to kind of limit this problem is taking um, put some grease on the bottom like on the top of the seal and try to put it between the seals to help keep those uh, those two guys lubricated, but then again, the oil's gonna just is just gonna dissolve in the oil. So, fuck. Only thing I think of is put fill this thing up with extra oil. That's the only thing I can think of to make it last long, longer. And I think this is. Um, oh, fuck. I could say it. It's the oil they use for uh, like a lot. For uh, like, but kids are filling up with their computer cases and shit like that. For uh, oil cool computers, um, damn it, it's probably gonna come to me when I'm laying in bed at night, and I'll be saying uh, some nasty words in my mouth. Watching go what? Anyway, there she blows. Yep. So um, I'm gonna start assembling it back together. And let's see if it actually still works after I beat the shit out of this thing trying to get it apart. So, uh, this little sleeve goes on the bottom of the motor. And, uh, it only has one little pinhole to drain it. <clears throat> and I figure the best thing to do is, uh, throw just a shit ton of RTV in there to seal it up. I mean, I don't want it completely sealed. I don't mind, I, don't, I mean, if it seals, seals, whatever. But if it, um, I just want to keep the big chunks of poop out of there. Here, give her a little turn to see the goo in. Yeah, look for some skew holes. And drive two of them in. Oh, that one's too long.
You'll see my idea in a second here. I don't know what they used uh, down in uh, where the fuck this home was made, but uh, all I know is hard as a rock. I use Loctite. Remember, like, uh, strip that bitch out. Remember, uh, Loctite's like pearl cream. It'll dabble do ya. Big dab. So, little dabble do ya, big blob will kill ya. So I got it back together again. I RTV'd uh, the, um, this O-ring right here because when I tipped it over to the side when it was still full of oil, it was leaking a little bit and I want to make sure that thing's freaking sealed. Um, RTV'd the cap, or the cord cap into it. Uh, I really don't care if it, ever, if it never comes out again because I don't plan on ever taking this, unplugging this ever again. Um... My whole uh, deal with this is that I know this pump's not gonna last me half as long as if I bought like you know a real like a like, real sewage grinder pump, you know, a brand name like I'm gonna be installing in my house when I get all that shit done. Um, but this one's just gonna get me down the road. I'm, if it lasts more than two years, I'll be amazed. Um, and. Uh, if you have, I mean, if it's, this is your house, I would say, you know, and you're comfortable with, you know, dealing with raw sewage and, you know, throwing a new pump in, you know, and, t you know, abusing the hell out of the Harbor Freight warranty when these things blow out, because these things will blow out. Um, but, uh, if, like, you're, uh, you're paying someone to install this and you... Uh, they didn't say they were going to install an economy pump or a cheap ass pump and you see them putting this in there charging like $300 or something like that just for the pump I would be uh, wondering what the hell's going on I mean the best thing to do is just look at the name brand of the pump or better yet why they have the box open look at the model number and uh, get on the computer and use your brain if it says, you know, the pump's, you know, $115 pump and then you're turning $300, there's something fucking wrong there. I mean, I believe that, you know, 50% markup is just, is good enough. But that I dig rest without that shit. Um, I think it's, it looks like a pretty cool pump. I have it plugged around right now. I haven't started yet, but, uh. You guys should feel it moving in the air, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, if you're not familiar with this design on this guy, this is like a almost like a jet pump, I would say. Pretty much all it's doing is just it's a centrifugal and just shoving the, the shit out that way with, uh, you know, minimal... Um, Minimal contacts with the the debris, because there will be debris of plenty going through this pig. So, I mean, I'm happy with my purchase, 115 bucks. It looks like that. Uh, if I could catch it in time, if like you know, it's these seals on the bottom start going out. If I catch it in time, 
and just go to the like bearing shop and just throw a new set of seals in it, refill it with uh, dielectric oil. This thing should last years. It's just, it's in a place that no one, will, no one in their right mind wants to ever pull up to do maintenance on once a year. Like, there's something wrong if I'm pulling this pig up, and it's probably I'm already there's probably a new one sitting right next to me uh, as I'm pulling it up, ready to go back down. Cause yeah, obviously, yeah. Anywho, I'm gonna uh, spare you the gory details of what's gonna come next with this pig. So, you guys have a great night. I'm gonna go to bed. All right. Well, I just got done using it for the first time. It well it did what it said it was gonna do. It was gonna pump some shit. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said before, the biggest thing that's going to happen with this pump is longevity. I best way to keep this uh, pump running like forever is not to keep it submerged. If you don't keep it submerged, like you just use it to pump out something like a septic tank or something, and then you pull it out, this thing will probably last forever. But if you leave it submerged, that's when it's going to fail. If you don't put like a stainless steel sleeve over the, um, uh, over the armature shaft um, and the reason why is that when it sits there and gets cro oh, the shaft will sit there and get corroded and uh, the corrosion will actually sit there and eat away at the uh, lips of the uh, lip, se lip seals of the seals and then at that point it'll start leaking the motor and then it's bye bye and you're buying a new one so you guys have a great day